Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Cube Boy. In this video, I will continue topics about equation-oriented modeling. Uh, from the previous video, uh, make sure you have watched it bef uh, before you're watching this video because uh, I have covered some basics in EO modeling in the previous one. So in this video, I will focus more on why should we have EO modeling. Uh, because uh, before our example is just a linear forward uh, model which is very easy to be solved also in a uh, normal SM equation uh, algorithm uh, so here I have one of the best case maybe to show why EO is useful uh, because uh, one of the application is for a complex cycle strip now uh, I will demonstrate now in a simple recycle stream and to let you know why it is a powerful thing to have in the flow sheet with a recycle uh, so here i have a very simple system uh, with one fit yeah, that consists of h2o and methanol that will be flush the liquid will be cooled some of it will be to the process and some of it will be recycled back by pump okay so here i have at my component list uh, h2o and methanol with the fluid package i use uh, an rtl with the vapor phase uh, electric quark okay let's jump into the simulation okay so first i will solve the flow sheet in uh, the normal sm mode Okay, uh, I will add a separator with fit, paper, liquid. Next, I will specify the fit 110, 300 kPa, 1000 kilograms. Position is 40% of H2 and 60. 6%, 60% of metal. Okay. I got vapor fraction of around 90%. 90% of the uh, fit will be vaporized to this. The next thing I will uh, cool, it, cool it down. I will assume the pressure drop of 20 kPa and the uh, temperature is 90. Okay. Uh, this makes the saturated liquid become more uh, liquid, subcooled, subcooled liquid. Okay, now I will split using a T. have to outlet to process and to pump all right and we will specify the split 0 0.8 will move to the to process okay like this we need this pump why? Because uh, we have a pressure drop of 20 kPa in here. When we directly recycle this uh, stream to the separator, the iteration will keep continuing and there is no a convergence point there. Let me show you. If I put a recycle here and here. So for example, right now, my pressure is 280. When I move to this uh, separator, my liquid uh, stream become 280. And then it will have a pressure drop of 20 become 260. And then 260 will come back again to the separator. Uh, the liquid become 260 and it keeps going on. So it will not reach a convergence, okay? So if I put it here, you could see that maximum iteration reach, but there is uh, no con convergence states for the pressure. Okay, so I will delete this. I will delete this first. I will add a pump. 
So I will have a pressure drop equal to this pressure increase equal to this fit uh, pressure. Okay. I will put pressure of 300 PPA. All right, now we can have a recycle. Okay, all right. So I have converged my flow sheet in uh, SMO. Uh, so in uh, recycle flow sheet, flow sheet with recycle process, in SM mode, we need this recycle block. So this recycle block is uh, an iterative, iterative block. So because to solve this separator, we should know every uh, feed stream. Uh, we should have an information about each feed stream. If not, this separator will not be converged. What is the problem with the recycle process? Because uh, one of the feed stream is actually calculated variable. We need to know first uh, this calculated variable in order to uh, solve this uh, separator. And it is not possible. Therefore, we add this recycle block as an iterative gas. So if you see here, this rack will hold value Yeah, in uh, blue, okay? Uh, in blue color, which means there is a user input. So uh, if I disconnect this, it will, step, uh, it will still uh, solve because uh, it holds a value. And what is the problem when I change this rack into two pump. You could see that uh, we haven't solved two pump. Okay, so the separator will not solve. If the separa separator will not solve, everything at the downstream is unconverged. Okay, so we'll cut it back. This is how a recycle work in the sequential modular uh, algorithm. Now I will move to the EO modeling. I will have a copy first. I'll name it uh, EO fit, I guess. Yeah. I'll name it EO fit. I will define from fit uh, basis is mass. All right. Now I will add let me see EO operations. Start with plan flow sheets. Now I will connect this EO fit to EO. Okay. You could see that we have a stream cutter. Why? Because uh, Unisim EO only support uh, Unisim thermo uh, property package. So if you see to the basis environment, the, uh, Automatically, there is new clone uh, for the E operation. Okay, now we have to define the transitions here. I will define as a TP flash. So, what do you mean by TP, TP flash? Is between these two, uh, two feed package, I will retain the temperature and the pressure value. So, if you see here, the temperature and the pressure value will be the same. Okay. So if I change here into the pH flash, it will retain the pressure and enthalpy value. So if you see here, the temperature value is changing because it is not retained in this model, in this uh, stream cutter. So I will put the TP flash here and I will have a slight difference in the enthalpy. Okay, so the next thing, I will jump into the EO flow sheet. Now I will solve the EO model in the sequential mode first. Yeah. And then I will switch into 
the simultaneous software. Okay. So first, I will have a separator. Here we have uh, it as a paste splitter. Okay. You could see that the flow sheet directly solved because the DOF is enough to solve this uh, separator. I will add uh, an outlet here as a vapor EO, EO vapor. I will connect. Yeah, I will change first this basis directly into basis one clone. So we don't have any cutter. Okay. And I will connect. Okay, now uh, my flow sheet already connected. The next step, I will install a cooler. I will provide the delta T and temperature specification. The yellow one is the recommended uh, value, but we don't have to follow that. We can just uh, type in here and it is still solved. Okay. Next, I will add a T. Okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, one outlet as a template but I will add another outlet by having a uh, pump first. Okay, I will put pump here. Okay. First outlet, it will go to the process to process EO. We'll change this into the basis one flow and connect to here. And where is it? Now I'll connect the auto process this one and I will connect this outlet into the pump. Now we can specify the split fraction. The split fraction is 0 0.8. Okay. Now uh, I will connect this pump into the separator inlet, but you could see that we only have one connections. Therefore, we need to install a mixer. Okay, uh, add the mixer. Yeah. And right now, if I directly connect this pump outlet to the mixer. Let's see. But first I will put this pressurized as 90 KPA. Everything solved. And if I connect, yeah. As expected in SM mode, we, we, we cannot solve this flow sheet this way because uh, we need a fully uh, defined uh, feed stream at the mix mixer and the separator. And therefore, uh, since we use the recycle system, which is a con uh, calculated variable, uh, we cannot calculate everything. Okay, so I will disconnect this. I will delete. Okay. Now, I will try to switch the solver into the EO solver or simultaneous solver. Okay, everything okay now? 
uh, we jump back to the PFD and connect. You could see that the flow sheet has been solved in EO mode without any uh, recycle uh, block. Okay. So why this is possible in EO? Because in EO, we don't solve the flow sheet in an order. The flow sheet will be solved as a whole package. So either there is a recycle, there is no recycle, anything happened in flow sheet, uh, this software don't care. Because this uh, software only uh, care about uh, solving a big equations uh, for this flow sheets. Okay. Uh, this is why E operation is powerful for uh, recycle modeling. Now, uh, another thing that I want to show to you guys is when we have a normal SM model, we should usually uh, define the fit flow while the recycle flow will be the calculated variable. If I change this fit flow and I put it here, uh, for example, 200, I cannot solve. Why? Because I need this fit information. I cannot uh, alter the spec into the recycle sheet yeah, because the, solve, the flow sheet will be solved in uh, direction. Okay. So it will be very different with EO modeling. Now I will try to experiment by deleting this mesh flow at the fit stream. And then I will try to uh, alter the specification to the recycle. For example, I want the recycle to be 200 kg. Hundred kg per hour. Okay, you could see that the flow sheet will solve, and the fit stream will be a calculated variables. So you could see that the mass flow should be eight thousand seven hundred in order to have recycle stream of two hundred kg. As I say at the previous video, at eco modeling we are very very. Very, very fluid, very, very, uh, very, very easy to change specifications. There is no rigid ways to specify things uh, differ with the SM mode. Very flexible. So you can put the spec anywhere. Even I can try how if I put the spec at here. I will try to spec 800. It is also okay. If I try to do it here, I don't think so that it will work. Yeah, you could see it cannot work. So every fit stream should be uh, solved. Yeah, even I put it here, I cannot. Okay. Now, if I want to alter again the spec, for example, I want to have a spec here and also uh, I will delete this and I will spec here. Is it possible? Yeah, it's also possible. I can put the spec anywhere. <laughs> this is how uh, your operation works and why it is a very uh, strong one. Uh, so that's it guys uh, I hope that this video could help you to understand more about EO operation and to apply this EO model or this EO uh, uh, philosophy in your projects or your work and see you guys in the next video bye bye